If you've been asking yourself what is aperture in photography, then you landed on the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it is and how it works. So let's get right into it. Aperture, how does it work? What does it do? Aperture is a part of the exposure triangle and it will make your photo brighter or darker and it also controls your depth of field, how much stuff you can have in focus. So the first part, making it brighter or darker. I'm going to use, so this lens, right? If the lower the aperture number, the brighter the photo will be because you're using a, a wider aperture, the iris is wider, so more light can come through. And as you take the aperture up, meaning the higher number, it'll close the aperture down, letting less light come through. So with this example, I got this, this manual lens, right? And I'm wide open at 1.4. And as I close it down, you'll see the iris close and this is like letting less light come through the lens and it'll make your photo darker. Wide open at 1.4, you're letting in a lot of light and then down to you know, 2.8, 3.5, 5.6, f8, f11, f22, it gets, it gets more closed and it lets in less light so the photo will be darker. The higher you go up in aperture number, the darker the photo will be. In this example, I'm gonna show you depth of field. So the lower the f-stop, so a f1.8, will be wide open, you will have a shallow depth of field. And as you take your f-stops up, you'll get a deeper depth of field. I know a lot of times when we try to explain aperture, we'll say wide, but that's not a good one. You should use deeper, it's a deeper depth of field. You have more stuff in focus in the background. All right, the focus also starts from, from the focus distance on back. So if you were to dial in your focus distance at, you know, it'll start at two feet and it'll be two feet on back. Uh, so we're going to use this bush. I got a bush right here and I got a statue in the background. Right now I'm focused on the bush. I got a bush that's in focus and I have a statue in the background that you can barely see. But as I take my aperture up, so up to 2.5, 5.6, f7, f8, all the way up to f11, and I'm going to take it as high as it can go, which is f22. Now you can see that the bushes are in focus and the statue in the background is in focus. So the aperture not only controls how bright and how dark the photo is, but it also controls how much is in focus as far as depth of field. The higher the number, the more you have in focus, and the lower the number, the less you'll have in focus. Right? And that's how aperture works. So let's say if you were doing group photos and you had about five rows of people, you would focus on the person in the front, maybe at a F5 or F8, you would focus on the person in the front and that's how you get the person in the back to be in focus. But if you was to focus on the person in the back, the people in the front would be out of focus because your aperture, it starts at the focus distance from the front on back. In review, the aperture will control how bright or how dark the photo is by allowing more or less light to come through your lens. The lower your f-stop, the brighter the photo will be, the, the more wide open the lens will be, and the higher the f-stop, the darker the photo will be because the more closed the lens iris will be. Um, a wide open aperture will give you a shallow depth of field, and the more you take your aperture up, the more you can have in field and focus, so a deeper depth of field. Now, if you're a struggling photographer who's looking for guidance on how to understand your camera settings and lighting so that you can stop getting dull, boring, blurry photographs that are out of focus, and you wanna learn how to do it without searching through hundreds of YouTube videos, then join me on my four-part photography mini-series where you'll learn how to finally use your camera to freeze moments and time with professional quality images that are tack sharp. And the best part is, this video series is absolutely free. To get your hands on it, just click the link below this video. Go ahead, click that link, and I'll see you in the mini-series. Peace.